fans, the PSB fans, of course, away in the far corner. They've been very, very noisy tonight. Who will be singing? Who will be in good heart at the end of this game? It's time now to sit back and enjoy the action. It's Rangers against PSB in their Champions League playoff with Neil McCann, Stephen Thompson and Liam McLeod. It is judgment time for Rangers as they try and exercise the ghosts of last season's Champions League group campaign. to be they want to be dining at the top table Rangers and PSV Eindhoven go head to head for the second time in as many seasons for a place in the groups over two legs and the first leg as it was last season right here in Glasgow well you can see the blue skies above being covered mostly by clouds but it's perfect conditions really for the game and Rangers line up with just three of the starters from last year's first leg starting this one and that is James Tavernier Connor Goldson and Borna Barisic apart from that it's a new team from the one that started the playoff last season Butland in goal Tavernier, Goldson, Suter and Barisic Sifuentes, Jack Raskan Cantwell Seaman Desers PSV six of their starters started at Ibrox a year ago Benitez in goal Tez Romalo Pascali and Sardinio Dest who only joined yesterday on loan from Barcelona Veerman Sangari Saifari Bakayoko and Lang either side of De Jong Noah Lang there brought in for a club record 15 million euros in the summer from Club Bruges in Belgium the referee there, Clément Turpin, 41 years of age, to charge the Rangers, defeating Anfield in the groups last season, and also their victory in the Westphalen against Dortmund in the Europa League the season before as they made their way to the final. Of course, they're coming to Eintracht Frankfurt. PSV Eindhoven are trying to win their first title in six years this term as they look to wrestle it from Feyenoord's grasp last term they spent some money and they haven't lost a competitive match since Sevilla knocked them out of the Europa League last season it's 3-0 in mid-February they won the other leg 2-0 they also beat Arsenal in that competition in the group stage after Rangers got rid of them from the Champions League just about ready to go Rangers in their blue shirts white shorts black socks with the red tops will shoot right to left towards the Broomlone Road end of the stadium PSV in their change colours their white cream shirts with the grey shorts and the cream socks left to right as Rangers kick off and PSV shooting towards Copeland Road in this first half so important for Rangers that they get a good start in this one as the ball is launched forward by the right back days it's a difficult bouncing one for Dion to chase on to and Goldson gets there before him and nods it back to Butlin he plays it short to Goldson and across the course before on the European nights for Rangers his long ball finds Cyril Dessers he chases down the far side and the Brazilian centre back Ramalo puts it out for a Rangers throw in level the PSV 18 yard line just a wee indication there Liam that Rangers will be prepared to go from from back to front very very quickly in one pass with a long ball up to Dessers he's physically good and I think that will be a ploy at times Cantwell robs this man wins it back it's in the side the penalty area and almost broke there for Raskan as it goes over the crossbar ricocheted off the defender back off the Belgian and over the bar for a PSV goal kick really good positive start to proceedings by Ranger Stephen Thompson yeah it was but he was incredibly slack from PSV trying to dribble out from the back 
Cantwell, as we've seen him do on a number of occasions, he's always hounding people, wins the ball, he had a couple of options inside him if he wanted to look uh, for this. Stevie, I thought he should have gone inside. He went in Driven the inside. inside. I think he should Aye. have come in. He had a couple of options for yep. passes as well. He goes on his own and the, the shot's cleared, but yes, a very positive start. Interestingly enough, Liam, I thought it might have been the two up top with Sema and Dessers and Cantwell in behind like the finish uh, the game last week. Cantwell's actually going off the right, but he's coming into a 10 when the ball's over on the left, so it's a slight adaptation of the tactics. A little bit loose from Raskan, Suter can only, under pressure from De Jong, fire it into touch for a throw-in on this near side. He's getting a couple of apologies there from Raskan, who was excellent in the second leg against Servette in Geneva last Tuesday evening second ball on the pitch which Bakayoko has got rid of so it's Jordan Tays playing it to Romalo to his central defensive colleague Olivier Boscali and the Frenchman out to that left hand side for Des the American international lovely run he's away from Zipuentes driving down the left fires a really dangerous ball across the six yard line it's going to come out for a throw in on the opposite side of the pitch but that is why they've brought him to the club on loan yeah. for Barcelona Des what a cross yeah, but uh, how easy was it? I mean, he just faces up. Tavernier, for some reason, has come in narrow and left Cifuentes basically one-on-one -on -one with a full-back who's obviously lightning, knocks it past him and puts an incredible an incredible ball right across the face of the goal for Rangers. But for me, Tavernier's position was wrong well, in the first place. You're spot on, Stevie, and I, I, was, I, mean, I was perplexed myself because what Noah Lang had dragged him inside, Tavernier went as if Noah Lang was going to get the, the little ball fed into him. And this is just absolutely burned Cifuentes. It's a lot like the last week with the out side uh, midfielders of the three so Fuentes will go on the right and shut down the fullback but that's a warning shot Called by Cantwell on Veerman in the DSV half just left of the centre circle three goalless minutes in here yeah, def definite sharp fill 100% from uh, Cantwell there no arguments about that one Ibrahim Samgari in the centre circle he's had it pinched off him, Sima with the head, knocks it into his own path down the left-hand side of the box, he goes, Sima, it's a good challenge back against him, there was Sangare helping his defenders out, having been robbed in the first instance, the man who scored the opening goal in the 2-2 draw in the first leg last season, here come PSV though, driving forward here with Saibari, he's got it back here, I mean, worked the 1-2 with De Jong, out wide left, chance here for Noah Lang to attack the box, he shoots a goal, Butland spills it, De Jong gets onto it, forced wide left little short ball back the way for Lang and now it's Des through a disguised ball looking for De Jong passes it straight to Ryan Jack down by his own byline over to the corner flag for Tavernier who's under some serious pressure he breaks Cantwell's way and now it's with Cifuentes he's a bit nicked off him though by Des here's Sangari sizing up the Rangers box just playing it short forward to Juan Bakayoko elects to pass it back along the deck to Dest here come PSV again oh, loose ball read. from them though straight to Suter but he's giving it away but Cantwell wins it back in double quick time of Bakayoko Cantwell over on that right hand side trying to get away from his man he's done really well squeezes it through to Cifuentes just inside the PSV half forward to Dessers little touch from him kind of lets him down he gets back onto it he goes down and referee Turpan gives Rangers a free kick midway inside PSV territory right of centre that just relieves the first real spell of pressure from PSV Eindhoven in the match five minutes in 0-0 yeah Dessers actually does well in the end up there I think that's going to be a key for him tonight when the ball goes up to him because at times he's not going to have the support around him either in the two tens with Cantwell and Sumay needs to hold it in better Cantwell did ever so well there he bought time because there was nothing in front of him and his uh, composure has allowed Rangers to get up the field but it's been a breathless what five six oh, minutes that, that counter attack from PSV was absolutely lightning they're going to need to watch that Rangers when they're over committing Seal Desser scored against PSV when he was at Feyenoord on loan from Genk a few seasons ago Smarasic clips the free kick in comes off the head of Desser's Goldson goes for it Romalo beats him in the jump there's a optimistic appeal for a penalty from the Rangers supporters behind the goal there as Raskan beats Land to it it's now with Tavernier he's giving it away though as James Tavernier and it's picked up here in the midfield 
for PSV Eindhoven and the ball's flipped out to that left-hand side by Bascali but given away Raskan for Rangers now to Cantwell back to Raskan looks up ahead of him looking for really Sima he's clipped it with the right foot to Sima left of the D at the edge of the box the overlap from Barisic low ball across comes off the defender and it falls kindly for Walter Benitez in the PSV goal he holds on in his near post and it remains nil nil but what a start yeah it's back and forth isn't it it's, it's, it's really going uh, 100 miles an hour it's not it's not settled down it was really good from Raska and there Sima I just wanted to see it go 1v1 but Barisic on the outside I'd love to see Todd Cantwell then get into the back post and not hang around 18 yard box I thought Raskin could have made that yardage up it's really important that when they get in the final third positions Liam with Barisic and Tavenier that Sima and, and, and Dessers make up the box but one of the other midfielders must get in there just to create more numbers more ratio to score when Barisic picked the ball up he was in a good area but he lifted his head and only had Dessers yeah. so he was making a run across the front exactly. post there's not another option for him you've got to get more bodies in the box Romalo sweeping it right to left to the centre circle for Pascali down that left hand side for Noah Lang the record signing in the summer Tavernier gets there just as the ball down the line was targeted for Serginio Dest out for a throw in to PSV midway inside Rangers territory over on that far side yeah, he's rapid he's rapid Liam I, I think that's going to be a, I was saying about Tavernier might be able to expose Noah Lang but if he goes inside and he leaves the Fuentes out there with Dest Rangers could have massive problems because he's electric chance here for PSV it's Saibari out wide right for Bakayoko level with the penalty spot left foot cross comes in smashed away on the volley by Tavernier Dest tries to take it down over on that left hand side of the central area now comes to Saibari he's going to get it back oh really good block there by Suter as De Jong tried to flash it back into the path of Saibari it remains goalless PSV looks so dangerous though particularly coming down that left hand side as Neil was highlighting their manager down there, Peter Bosch, has won here a couple of times in recent seasons. He was in charge of Bayer Leverkusen when they won here in 2020, just before the lockdown. And then he came back here with Lyon in the Europa League a couple of seasons ago and won that one as well. So it's a 100% record as a visiting manager here at Ibrox, the PSV boss. It was Ruud van Nistelrooy against Giovanni van Bronckhorst this time last year, of course. The two former Dutch teammates as Des picks up again wide on the left. Support from Lang up against Cifuentes. Gets away from Cifuentes but not from Tavernier. But he loses out to Noah Lang and it's passed back the way to Joey Beerman. Long ball forward will come all the way through to Jack Butland and it will remain nil-nil. We're approaching the nine-minute mark at Ibrox. Here's Connor Goldson, side foot ball forward, finds Dessers halfway line. Sima is on this near side, flicks it out to Sima. The unknown Brighton man, he's got the overlap from Barisic. Sima uses him as the decoy, low ball in field, square to Cantwell. First time back to Sima, now with Jack, right footed out to the left hand touchline, Barisic looking for Cantwell, blocked by Taze. And Cantwell can't keep it in play as it goes out for a throw into PSV Eindhoven on this near side. Should have done better that for that one, Cantwell. I yeah. think he was almost trying to just get ready for a drag back. The ball was still in play, and he just seemed to. I, I tell you, his possession of it. Sima, I don't know what you think, John, but I mean, he can clearly run and he's he's rangy, but sometimes when he picks the ball up, it's just it's. I think he's waiting for Barisic. I know. I think he's waiting for Barisic. He's he's waiting for Barisic to overlap him. That's what he's wanting. But actually, you're right. Just go. He receives it in space. Just go yourself. Go and yeah. make things happen yourself. You don't need to always use that Barisic outlet. PSV went it back with Bakayoko. He's deep inside his own half. Got it back from Sangare. And the clip ball forward up towards De Jong. He does win it in the air, but to a Rangers player up into the air more height and distance it'll break back favourably for Connor Goldson who's over on this left back side really and he rolls it back to Butland inside his own box he clears with a right foot across the halfway line it goes killed in the chest by Bascali and his next touch is to turn it out to Dest on the left just shrugging off Sima Dest then chops and peel away from Tavernier how good's he been on, in these early exchanges yeah. up the line for Lang the challenge from Goldson and out for a PSV throw in yeah, I mean he's, he's very robust as well he's, got, he's come through a couple of challenges there he doesn't look like an out and out fullback does he does he? not <laughs> no, I was going to I mean, say the exact get, same thing yeah he's got feet of a winger he looks there. like a winger 100% yeah. One game in League One tonight, incidentally, Falkirk leading Sterling Albion, local derby, 1-0. Spencer goal on 11 minutes. 
here in the Champions League playoff. Nil nil. Jordan Tays for PSV, flashing it out to the right hand side. Bakayoko up against Barisic onto the left, dropping the shoulder. Raskan meets him. Bakayoko on the turn and uh, eventually comes back to Barisic in his own box and he puts it out for a throw in on this near side. They'll uh, know each other. Nicolas Raskan and Johan Bakayoko, the two young Belgians. So that goes out of play for a throw in on this near side. He's just so desperate to get onto his left foot all the time, back here, yeah. isn't he? Even though he's playing on the right, he's always looking to chop in and feed a cross into the box or a pass square, but he's got pace, he might be served better just going down outside the odd time. He was uh, an unused sub in both legs against Rangers last season, back at Yoko. He's gone on, though, to win four caps for Belgium. An assist in his debut against Sweden, in European Championship qualifiers. The PSV number 11 out on this right flank. Throw in Rangers, level with their own 18. Barisic over it. No goals as yet in this Champions League playoff first leg. Up the line, flipped on by Sima. Cantwell goes for it. One back by Sangare. And he returns it to his goalkeeper. Benitez playing it to his left for Dest. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, only arrived at the club yesterday straight into the squad. Seems to have settled all right, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Hasn't he just? Couldn't get a game at Barcelona last season, so he's on loan for the campaign in Eindhoven. And he's certainly started really well for the visitors. It's Pascali, plays it short to Sangari, and now it's Ramalo, who played both legs last year. He's also come up against Celtic in Europe four times with... Salzburg Lang picks up from Dest down that left hand side midway inside the Rangers half he's found Lang in the overlap moves in field lovely touch into the box shows too much to Tavernier who goes down Rangers play on Sima three round him he's lost out Dest has it back but gives it away to Raskan knocking it forward looking for Sima read by Taze who clears out to that far side again though Liam uh... Seema again, just, just not really having control of the ball. He, it's as if his mind's seeing things before he's even got it under control. He just needs to relax a little bit, get, get the ball secured, and then go and commit people. Here's Saibari, low ball to the edge of the box for De Jong. Rangers under the cosh here. Saibari, right footed, cross to the back post, headed behind for the corner by Tavernier. There will be some duress on the Rangers rear guard here. 13 and a half in. And PSV have their first corner in fact the game's first corner over on that far side of stand side Rangers have started the game fine you know you can obviously see that PSV have got real pace and danger within their side but they've not really opened Rangers up yet and Rangers have looked threatening when they have got into their final third and the Dutch have had 70% of the early possessions the corner comes in it's a little header from Sangari which he doesn't catch and it goes behind well behind actually he's ended up flicking it towards the corner flag on this near side but any kind of purchase on that and Rangers are in big trouble I'm sure he scored one similar where he just runs off of someone I tell you I think he's on it and, and he's his hands across his face because he feels that that's a, a really really good chance for him and well first time ball out to Barisic wide in the left approaching the halfway line across he goes on this left hand side Sima ahead of him decides to turn it back to Raskan and then back into his own half for Jack. Look, it might open for Seema there, perhaps. He Do you know what? I mean, he was going into an offside position. Lima, I, I want him just to stand, just to put the Have brakes the on. Line. Just, just go and then put the brakes on. Let Barisic bounce him, and then if the fullback goes to him, Barisic can go in the overlap. If he holds his position, he just gets one v one. He's running into nowhere there. Goldson, long ball, looking for Seema again. He might have just gone a little bit too early. It's headed away by Taze. Here's Raskan collecting on the near side, flicks it infield for Sima, but one back by Bakayoko and Tez who boots it off a Rangers player now for a throw-in to PSV on this near side Yeah, I mean obviously Neil, it's the position you played in when you were playing, he's playing this evening, Sima to me it looked like he ran himself into position there, but he wasn't going to be able to receive the yeah, ball well, from th- Raskin and Raskin's looking going, exactly. I need better movement from you, and exactly. then the crowd got on 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 Barisic because he's had to check and pass the ball backwards, but actually had no option because the ringer's movement wasn't good enough. Yeah, well, Tez is just it, he can see the movement as well, so he's just covering the run, so it's going to be a big a big foot race, and he's not really going to gain any advantage. So if he goes goes long and just checks short, then he gets it to feet, he'll be able to face the full back up. 
ESV knocking it about pretty confidently though it goes back to the goalkeeper Benitez out to Pascale charged down by Cantwell he's trying to get the crowd involved some more over there he's waving his arms and hands around to try and get the fans on top of the situation it's going to be a PSV throw in Dest will take about level with the edge of the D of his own box over on that left hand side for the visitors bowled into the midfield Jack pinches the loose ball back into his own half for Barisic he goes back to Suter John Suter striding forward rolling it out to this near side for Barisic under pressure from Bakayoko turns and plays it off him and out for a Rangers throw but John Suter was good at that Liam you know he's, he's prepared you to need that in. though don't you you yeah, need that in the, yeah. the modern game but even, even back in the day you, you always needed your centre half to, to make those kind of driving runs well sometimes if, it, if you're under immense pressure and you're cutting across someone you'll draw a foul and, and, and you get yourself out of pressure or, or if you're good enough you step in commit a midfielder the key is then is to, is to find one of your teammates and don't get caught in possession you get caught in possession in the midfield area it means there's a gap in your central defence but Big John is, uh, I think he's, he's shown already this season there's been times where he steps in there and he's really composed there's a few of the Rangers players rested at the weekend as the long balls pinged forward towards Noah Lang got in behind momentarily there but combination of Tavernier and Goldson do enough to win it back for Rangers it's picked up by Barisic long ball up to halfway ah, down goes Dessers fouled by Romalo just on the halfway line and that'll be a Rangers free kick and it's nil-nil at Ibrox 17 and a half minutes played yeah he knows what he's doing doesn't he he's just backing in and feels the the contact goes to ground gets his team 40 yards up the pitch but that one just earlier the ball over the top from Sangari if Lang had taken a better touch he might have been in see McLex on this near side level with 18 poor ball though he's giving it straight to Saibari that's not going to do him any favours with the fans here a little bit frustrated after that as Falkirk go 2-0 up against Sterling Albion a Callum Morrison penalty Spencer and Morrison the goal scorers Falkirk 2 Sterling Albion 0 in tonight's League 1 game kicked off at 7.45 it's an 8 o'clock kick off here at Ibrox 18 in it's PSV doing the attacking with Bakayoko down the right of the Rangers box, left footed ball back to Taze. Now with Lang, who's popped up on this near side. Decides to side foot it back to Ramallo. Into the midfield, he sweeps it out to the left for Dest on the touchline. And Saibari's out there now. Plenty interchanging going on between the front players of PSV. With the skipper De Jong leading the line. Yeah, he's the he's one that's pretty constant, Liam. He's, he's staying through the middle at all times, occupying the two centre-backs, but Noah Lang in particular is getting some freedom. And Dest is going through as an inside left. It's a chance here for Saibari down the left-hand side of the Rangers box. Level with the penalty spot, rolls it infield to Dest, trying to look for some space. Rangers put the block in, though. No. It's one back by Cantwell over on the far side. Jinking around, looking to try and shrug off a couple of players. He goes down. And the referee gives Rangers the free kick midway inside their own half over on that Govan stand side touchline here at Ibrox. Nil nil. I tell you what, he does well, does Campbell, because when he receives that ball, he's not got any options other than probably just a hopeful punt up to Dessers. And he man manages to hold on to the ball for, say, four or five seconds to try and draw in pressure and eventually wins the fill. But it has been a, a, something that I've noticed that at times when Rangers are on the ball, their options aren't great off the ball for them and they're getting caught the odd time on the ball. Suter at the edge of his box under no pressure he squares it to Goldson he goes back to his goalkeeper Butlin takes a touch looks up at the pitch and smashes it forward with the left foot Dessers oh. Romalo I think he's just had a little uh, arm good. swing out at the defender there and the referee spotted it Romalo's on the deck inside the centre circle Cyril Dessers he's uh, certainly caught him with the uh, back of the arm was at the elbow yeah that might well have caught Romalo is back on his feet now it's just a word of warning from Monsieur Turpan who's in charge tonight I suppose I can't really comment I probably would have done the exact same thing Neil I'm just waiting on you having a go at the boy you didn't know he was going to jump in <laughs> no I was worried that he'd actually <laughs> caught him worse than he had he hadn't he was just trying to block him off with his arm nothing wrong with that <laughs> roll back by Dest to Vascali left of the centre circle, pings it onto the chest of Bakayoko with a big switch over to the right under pressure from Barisic throws it back to Taze, infield for Sangari, goes back to Romalo and then he squares it 
to Muscali. Forward to Sangari in the centre circle. Right footed ball, out to the left. Here's Sergio Dest again. The USA International just steps in field, squares it to Sangari. Showed too much of it to Raskan, but enough about him to find Tays just when it looked as though he was going to surrender possession. And here come PSV again down the left-hand side. Des getting it from Lang, looking to drive it across. Looking for the corner. Goal kick, goal. This is what's been given. Does it come bouncing off Goldson? It must have come back off the PSV player. Dest from behind for the goal kick. And it stays Rangers nil. PSV nil. Michael Beal down on his, in his technical area, right at the edge of it. As much as Rangers started the game well and, you know, they were getting up into PSV's final third for the last... I mean, pinned a wee bit. 10, 12, 15 minutes, they've not really... Oh, there's a chance here for Sima. He's got away from the defender. He's inside the box. Dessers in the middle. He goes himself and it's a comfortable save for Benitez at his near post. As Sima tried to profit right-hand side of the penalty area. He head down, drove forward, had the ball at his feet, elected to go for goal himself. And it's a pretty simple save. Yeah, it Benitez. was Ra Ramalo had the situation under control, but then slipped on the turf, which allowed Seema to go clean through. His first touch takes him a wee bit wide, and then the angle is very difficult for him to get the shot off. But as I was saying just before that, I feel as though Rangers are struggling to get up the pitch, and we're wondering whether they were going to go direct at the start of the match and then try and work their way up the pitch. That way, that hasn't really transpired because they've been locked in a wee bit by PSV. Yeah, I, I agree. I just... I don't know. I, I, I think Seema has been out of, start, uh, out of sorts for the first 20 minutes. So no, we had a, a, a good a good chance there, but we can't well play almost as a front three rather than in the ten. I think it's allowing them a wee bit of comfort to go and press the ball in the middle of the pitch because Singari can just uh, he can screen Dessers and then when in possession of football they can get a man overload in the middle of the pitch. But I tell you that the one thing that Rangers don't have in their favour, as you said, uh, right, we said Dest has just come into this side, Liam. There's probably been no little or very uh, or none. In terms of homework done on the boy, don't know what he's like, so they're almost trying to trying to kind of work it out in house, in game play about how quick the boy is, what he does, what's his relationship with Noah Lang. I know they wouldn't have a relationship, but already they look as if they've got a, a, a bit of a. It certainly looks more dangerous yeah. down the left than it does in the right with Baki Yoko, purely because he keeps cutting in the pitch into trouble. But both rapid down that left hand side, both actually very similar looking players. Yeah, comfortable on the ball. Destiny's got 26 caps and two goals for the USA and played at all of their World Cup matches last year, including their last 16 defeat to the Dutch. Jack keeps it in play, but only to the benefit of Jordan Tays, who's driving down the right-hand side of the Rangers box, looking for the cross, cut out by Barisic, and out it goes for a throw into PSV on this near side. And our time is when perhaps he just let the ball go out of play. Yeah, I'll just one of them. Yeah. 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 Sangari back into the centre circle for Romalo appears to have shrugged off the earlier knock with Cyril Dessers. It is Lang back to Bascali, left of the centre circle, steps into the Rangers half. Forward to Joey Fearman, who's been relatively quiet in these opening 24 minutes. Long ball from the goalkeeper Benitez. So far, Rangers have completed 53 passes. PSV have completed 165. That's where this game's sitting at in the stats right now. PSV with about 70% of the ball. Saibari at the edge of the Rangers box. Infield to Bakayoko. Back to Saibari. Back to Bakayoko. Little back heel to Saibari again. Shuffles onto the left and loses his bearings completely. And he fires it a good few feet wide of that left-hand post. But that opened up beautifully for PSV Eindhoven. And they created it themselves just little give and goes at the edge of the penalty area and it was Saibari the Moroccan who let fly but it was a, a poor effort in the end and it stays Rangers nil PSV nil as we approach 25 yeah it's a poor effort but he's a little he's a little dip in the shoulder just sent Barisic down the line and then he went inside and played the 1-2 with uh, Bakayoko but I mean he, he's he's a player I remember um, from last season had been a real threat he's sort of playing in a 10 position but he's got the ability to drift from that 10 position out of this right side when he does that then Noah Lang comes in so there's a real freedom of movement but they just have to start getting a grip of the game and getting into higher areas making PSV defend because as it is as Tom has pointed out they're controlling the line share of possession and territory can't well for Rangers out to Tavernier Rangers doing some attacking this time level with the edge of the D of the PSV box Tavernier looking for some support in blue and white Gets it eventually from Cifuentes down the right. He's found Cantwell level with the penalty spot. Drives it off the defender. 
bouncing ball headed away by Boscali back up into the air off the knee of Cifuentes Tavernier in the box can't make it work but Cantwell wins it back over to the far side but gives it away in double quick time and Noah Lang has it infield to Sangari and then Fearman forward to Bakayoko and suddenly PSV are three on three here Bakayoko driving down the pitch up towards the edge of the box shoots for goal and Butland holds on good goalkeeping Bakayoko certainly caught that one Butland holds on 26 in Rangers nil PSV Eindhoven nil it's just another example of how quickly they can counter attack and they leave numbers up the pitch they're not afraid to do that the whole Rangers midfield was wiped out from that one pass I actually felt as though Bakayoko could have done better they had three up there he had two options but his head was down he was thinking about the shot but on his favoured left foot it was a decent strike but straight down the throat of Jack Butland he probably would be disappointed that they didn't make more of that situation but it's just a wee warning to Rangers that if you're going to have everybody ahead of the ball there then when the ball gets broken down in a transition you're under P chance for Raskan for Rangers in the PSV half goes back the way though there's Jack to Cantwell you can, you can hear the simultaneous groaning every time Rangers pass the ball back here they are coming forward though down the right hand side Tavernier gives chase Dest gets there first down in front of that pocket of PSV fans Tavernier puts enough pressure on to force Dest to put it out for a throw in to the hosts with Cantwell after it was taken quickly poor ball into the area cleared by Bascali the Goldson heads it down that right hand side and it's headed clear picked up by De Jong left of the centre circle Works it back to Fearman, forward to Saibari. He's got a runner in Jordan Taze, the fullback on this right-hand side. He's at the right angle of the Rangers box, looks up, it's a oh, clever a ball. ball in and headed behind for the corner by Connor Goldson. With Luke de Jong waiting to smash it home behind him. It stays Rangers nil, PSV nil. Yeah, a wonderful cross in from the fullback. It's just first time as well, shaped in there, beautiful cross. De Jong thinks he's maybe just going to walk onto that but fair play to Connor Goldson John Shooters across the front post and there was Connor Goldson just making sure he's central just to clear up the danger he'd have probably rather that it hadn't just, just gone a foot past his own post yeah <laughs> I know I think he yeah. caught it a wee bit square but it cleared the danger it was good defending Joey Beerman will take the corner out swinger with the right foot in the main stand side it's allowed to bounce in the box but it skips away to safety relative safety Ryan Jack under pressure from Lang who pinches it back off him Noah Lang really good play from him he goes down it'll be a corner at the least and then there's a little bit of afters between Ryan Jack and Noah Lang just in the wake of all that I think it's actually gone behind for a goal kick in the end up but there was a little bit of afters between Ryan Jack and Noah Lang Neil yeah, I mean, it's right up Ryan Jack Street, that. There was a bit of physicality, there was a lot of pulling of the jerseys. You see, Noah Lang's actually got a big hold of, of Ryan Jack's jersey, and then Jack gets a hold of his. It's when they go to the floor, Jack stands over the top of him, tells him to get up, and then Lang has a little kick, but I mean, there's nothing in it for me. Nah, not Absolutely enough. not. Nothing for me, it was a right good tussle. Jack does well to hang on to him because he's very, very quick. Um, if anything, it would probably be pulled back for a full four Rangers for Jack for the the Chelsea pool was the first action and I, li I like the fact that Jack got touched tight and was not prepared to let Lang get his foot on the ball and shape him up because that's the last thing Ryan Jack would have wanted because Noah Lang is very good at going both sides would have committed him into the penalty area remember last season well last season's first leg was actually pretty even across the board the things like shots and the, the other statistics in the match but this has been weighted in PSV's favour so far albeit Sima did manage a shot and target earlier for Rangers so Malo with a left foot back to his goalkeeper Benitez at the edge of his box short to Bascali into the midfield it goes for Veerman Dutch international stepping away from Dessers good play then he decides to switch it back out to the left for Serginho Dest it under control and he's got a little bit of space if Wentis trying to close him down short to Lang Lang then back onto the halfway line for Bascali to Veerman out to the left hand side it goes again for Dest to Lang and then one back by Tavernier 
got in the way of that pass and gets it back from Cantwell over on the right hand side level with the edge of the centre circle in the PSV half it goes over the line though for a throw in to the visitors Just but at the half up. hour mark here 0-0 yeah can't get up the touch Liam sorry Tavenier's looking up there he's got Dessers but he's got he's got three or four PSV jerseys surrounding him they don't give you a lot of time in the ball no, that's something I've noticed as well they're, they're really very hunt, quick to press and, and hunting packs yeah. Stevie so they surround it you're passing options that, that's, that's when Rangers need to get the head up quick one pass to set and switch to the other side it's set up for Barisic particularly down that right side because they hunt over there really really well that should be a set up Michael Beale and his coaching staff should be watching that scene in the second half of that presents itself have a little bounce pass and just ping it to the other side and open them up Mallow under pressure from Sima goes back to his keeper first time from Benitez to the left of Bascali chips it down that left hand touch line for Des it was a difficult one for Des to deal with comes off Tavernier though and out for a throw in to PSV over on that far side Neil if you're Michael Beale what are you thinking right now? I, I think they're reasonably uh, Michael Beale's reasonably pleased I don't, as Stevie said there I mean De Jong um, I think it was Noah Lang had a shot but Butland maybe spilled and then the one from uh, uh, back of Yoko but other than that it's been reasonably comfortable listen they can they can three times Rangers passes but if they're not really hurting you it's okay I think it would look a little bit tidier from Seaman in particular Cantwell when I mean, they're in good areas but just now they're just they're just they've not clicking yet but they've not found a groove Rangers and I think that's purely down to the tempo yeah. that I act, uh, PSV are playing Saibari De Jong's in space as well Saibari attacking the box he decides to shoot blocked by Goldson the pings out onto that far side for Dest rolls it in field for Bascali left of the centre circle and then back into his own half for Romalo you're listening to Sport Sound this evening here at BBC Radio Scotland Extra on 810 Medium Wave on digital and online at bbc.co.uk slash sports Scotland Champions League playoff first leg Rangers nil PSV Eindhoven nil the rematch as Veerman plays it to De Jong just inside the Rangers half back to Sangari first time ball flashed out to the left for Lang three in PSV colours in the middle De Jong's one of them low ball for De Jong really plays good. it off Jack who did really a suitor rather who did well to slide in and block the attempted low ball across by De Jong at the expense of PSV's latest corner yeah really good covering from John Suter Golton gets dragged to Noah Lang Tavenier caught inside the pitch again but that's due to the movement of PSV but John Suter across really lively in comes the corner Butland holds on good clutch in the six yard line he'll be happy with that one the goalkeeper having made the save from Bakayoko earlier on as well Liam I was talking about range of shape and, and Cantwell sort of playing off the right seam off the left and, and Des is through the middle that's probably set up to combat uh, the fullbacks of, of PSV going forward but it's not really worked and I think it's something that oh, Romalo under pressure from Sima and then it's going to go behind I think for a corner here only Rangers first of the match that all came from Sima harassing Andre Romalo into the error and Rangers have their first corner of this Champions League playoff it's twice Romalo the same players had problems this time Sima chasing a kind of hopeless ball if you like putting him under pressure he does have a tug on Romalo's shoulder I don't think it's enough for him to go down and in the end he kind of panics and slices it out for a corner kick for Rangers Tavernier to take top scorer in the Europa League two seasons ago as Rangers went all the way to the final and he's going to take this corner on this main stand side at the Broomlone Road end off to our left, Tavernier in front of an expectant crowd at Ibrox and it comes from Tavernier, it's a deep one it's a relatively comfortable take for Benitez, the goalkeeper though, one of his defenders in his way gathers at the second attempt and pulls it out to Joey Veerman, midway inside his own half, he's having to twist and turn and burrow his way out of trouble there he eventually side foots it to his left for just Serginio Des down the line and a chance for Saibari to find Lang down the left-hand side. They've gone from one end to the other in a flash here. Lang's cross way too high and over the bar. And that'll be a goal kick to Rangers and it will stay nil-nil. He's got the corner. Noah Lang, he's actually started his PSV Eindhoven career off superbly well. He missed the victory over Vitesse Arnhem at the weekend with injury. He was an injury doubt for this first leg. And he scored a couple of goals in his first couple of games, including the clincher in the Super Cup against Feyenoord inside their own stadium in De Kuyp in Rotterdam before scoring against Utrecht in the opening week of the Eredivisie having made that 15 million euro move to the Philips Stadion in the summer so throwing his ball back the way PSV 
with a 100% start to the campaign, having beaten Sturm Graz in both legs at the previous qualifying round to this, the third qualifying round as Rangers were beating Servette. Those three domestic successes so far, they won their oh, one back-to-back looking. Dutch Cups last season as well. PSV is the yellow card comes out for James Tavernier over on the far side. You heard Neil in the background there. It was clipped forward towards Lang. Super he was movement. brought down. Get a really good movement, Liam. Honestly, brilliant. Uh, watch you look, spin here, look. Just goes and spins in behind him. He's getting tight because not allowing what's about if he's so talented and get and great, great control and gets 1v1, but he just spun him there. Tam, you're too tight. That's not ideal. No, it's not, particularly because that's been the main source of threat for me yep. down uh, PSV's left side. Yeah, you've seen Bakayoko now and again on this side, but you're right, it's the combination play of Dest and Lang and Saibari helping out both wingers. To be fair, he's on this side now, but that's going out for a throw into Rangers level with the edge of the centre circle we're in the final 10 minutes in fact the final 9 minutes of the first half here under the lights at Ibrox and it's a throw in to be taken by Barisic down this left hand side it's headed out for a throw in by Taze Barisic now level with the edge of the centre circle in the PSV half on this near side in front of the watching PSV manager Peter Bosch Barisic bowls it, looking for Dessers, the big long leg of Sangari comes out to win it back for the visitors as De Jong meets it first time on the halfway line, pressing it back to Lang, first time ball out to Saibari on the near side, now back to Yoko, to Saibari again, midway inside the Rangers half, back into their own territory for Ramalo to Sangari, to Ramalo and he squares it to Buscali. Square ball for Amalo again. Taze wants it out wide in the right. Gets it in defeat now. Been met by Abdallah Sima. Infield to Sangare. Lovely one too. Bakayoko back to Sangare. Back to Bakayoko. Brilliant build up play by PSV. Sangare has it on this near side. Up against Raskan. Into the midfield for Fearman. Little chip ball out to Bakayoko on the near side. Controls it. Rolls it infield to Singari. The Rangers fans getting frustrated because PSV are well and truly on top here. They're dictating the ball, weaving it around this playing surface. It's now out wide left with Dest. Down the line for Lang. De Jong's in the middle. It is a low ball across and Butland holds on at his near post in his six-yard area with De Jong lurking. And it stays Rangers nil, PSV nil as we tick on to 38 minutes. But this has been a, a difficult period in the game for Rangers this one yeah I mean the PSV's possession of the ball has been brilliant at times to watch their passing on that occasion they worked from one side of the pitch all the way over to the other that combination again between uh, Dest and Lang the ball get fizzed across the front post I felt as though De Jong could have made more of an effort to get across the front than he did but thankfully for Rangers Butland there to kind of scoop it up around about the six yard box but yeah PSV the, the quality of passing the quality of movement off the ball is far superior to what Rangers are offering. Just a moment ago, Liam, I was just talking about if Rangers can get a set-up pass to switch. It happened there, didn't it? Uh, and Raskin just unfortunately handled it, come off his elbow um, when he tried to control it. But it's certainly an area that Rangers could expose uh, PSV because they are getting really shifted across in the game, particularly the wide boys come inside, Noah Lang comes inside, uh, Bakayoko on this side. It's something that I think they make a joy of in the second half. PSV are bossing this game like they didn't boss it last year here. It was a more even match. Jackson trouble. Here's Saibari moving towards the Rangers box now. Rolls it to the overlapping desk. Little chip ball comes off the defender. And PSV Eindhoven have another corner. Over on that left-hand side. This is their third of the evening. Yeah, unfortunately for Rangers, it's just been kind of waves of attack for the last 10 minutes or so. Even longer than that. The bonus for Rangers is that so far in the final third, that killer pass or the killer touch hasn't quite been there for PSV and they've managed to kind of ride this period out, but whether or not they can sustain that for another 45 minutes in the second half. Another five minutes of this one, the corner comes in, to clear to the near post by Seema, it wasn't a good delivery. And uh, Rangers get it away, but it's going to come right back at them here, you suspect. Tays right to the centre circle long ball it's poor though so you look for Lang who gives him the thumbs up anyway but it sails into touch for a throw into Rangers over on that right hand side to be taken by the booked James Tavernier gets it back from Jack digs out a ball down the right Dessers gives chase Pascali gets there first though 
are now dest down the line and PSV have it back switch of play from Fearman now it's Taze loads of space to operate in here rolls it to the right of the boxer Bakayoko steps onto the left and then his attempted cross it's cut out Saibari has it Sima battling with him trying to win it back and he's done well Sima he's back in possession for Rangers but Saibari reacts and wins it back for PSV and redeems himself having given it away in the first place and goes back to his goalkeeper final five minutes of the first half it is nil-nil and this is a tough old watch for the Rangers supporters you can hear them in the background when they don't retain possession yeah I tell you what's difficult though see when good players work hard what this PSV team are doing it's, it's, a, it's going to be a tough night and that's when the, the fans are letting Seema know that it, when he stopped there when he got bounced off the ball by Saibari he just stopped that's unacceptable to these Rangers fans you have to put an output out to foul on Romalo they've taken a free kick they don't care the fact that their defender's still on the, the ground in pain they attack the Rangers box Des to the left hand side he's found Noah Lang who rolls it back to Fearman Fearman on the turn away from Cantwell and then Veerman switching it to Taze on this near side. Taze recently managed to get himself into the Dutch national side, as Veerman did. It's a brilliant turn by Singari. He's just taken Raskan right out of the game. He finds Saibari, he finds De Jong, but it's an overstretch from De Jong. He comes off his boot and right back to Jack Butler. Then it stays Rangers nil, PSV Eindhoven nil. But they're probably looking for the half-time whistle at this point, these Rangers players. Yeah, I would say so, Liam. I would say so. I mean, I'm just looking at Dessers there. I'd be interested to know how many times he's touched the ball in this half. And it's not necessarily his fault, really, because Rangers have been so reluctant or, or found it so difficult to get up the pitch. But he really mustn't have touched the ball too often in the game. An actual centre-forward. Honestly, Liam, at half-time... If Kenny's listening we'll get in a wee bit attacked because Rangers need to adapt here because they're getting murdered down this wide side now here is Lang right hand side of the box he finds Taze early low ball in no takers it's still alive though pulled back and cleared by Goldson on the six yard line that was just needing someone in PSV colours to get in the end of it and it's one nothing. it stays nil nil. what a ball across it was the Rangers just seemed to leave it here's Taze on this near side short ball to Sangari this is the one playoff first leg that hasn't got a goal tonight so far Bakayoko picks up on the right hand side teasing Barisic into the box shoots wide of that near post he's looked for the top right postage stamp corner couldn't find it goes behind for the goal kick it stays nil nil on 43 yeah we're right behind that they are He's going in and Barisic is right side, which is always going to be weak on his turn. It's not going to be it's a strong. It's, we're right behind it. It's, it's always going wide for us, but I don't, I'm not sure Jack Butland knew that. But they're starting to wind it up now. I was talking about that left side for PSV being really um, fruitful out there. Uh, but uh, but Taze is getting some amount of room, and it's because Raskin's getting dragged into Singari. He's then getting popped out of Taze, and he's getting a free run to put balls into the box. They've, they've really got to get a grip of the, the shape here, Rangers. They're really suffering. 3 0 Falkirk at half time against Sterling Albion. It was a Ross McKeever goal made at three before the break in League One, rearranged because of Sterling Albion's cup duties last week. Here's Cantwell down the right for Rangers across the face of goal. Desers is being howled at here because the Rangers fans feel he should have driven into the six yard area to get onto the end of that instead it went across the face of goal with no takers I would have to agree that that's what he should have done you know you see that the winger or in this occasion it was Cantwell got to the byline he's going to flash it across the gap between the six yard line and the goalkeeper Dessers had pulled out slightly Rangers win it back here with Dessers inside the box pulls it back towards Raska and Seema shoots goal oh, what a finish then
just comes from PSV trying to overplay from their goalkeeper into the centre half. He gives it away. The ball breaks kindly for Rangers right to the edge of the box. And there is Sima, who's not had a good half at all. But this is an incredible finish, right into the top corner, showing a lot of composure and talent there. And you, you, you couldn't have seen a goal for Rangers coming. No, it's certainly not from Sima. He said he's not at the best of halves. a difficult night, but I'm telling you, that is world-class finish. And Benitez can dive all he wants for that because he's he's just a spectator. But it comes from Raskin jumping. I've been saying about him jumping when the when when PSV are, are in good positions in control of the football. They weren't there. He jumped. He created the pressure. And, it, and when it came back to Sima, what a finish that is! There's pace. There's accuracy. I mean, it was just precision stuff. We're into one minute of injury time or stoppage time at the end of the first half. Desk goes for goal. It's blocked and Rangers who at one point there would have been quite happy to get in at nil-nil. Now desperate for the half-time whistle. 1-0 up they are. Saibari, though, for PSV. Low ball from the right-hand side towards De Jong is cut out by Suta and cleared. And that is the half-time whistle. And what an end to the first half that was for Rangers. And in particular for Abdallah Sima, who exploded a stunning finish into the top right corner to give Rangers the lead here and edged them perhaps towards the Champions League groups again. Came from absolutely nowhere. PSV have had so much possession, so many passes, 326 completed passes. Rangers, by contrast, just 83. But it doesn't matter. It's about putting it in the net, and that's what Sima did. Butler made a couple of saves up the other end. But that magical moment from Sima in the final minute of the opening 45 of this playoff is what's given Rangers the edge against the Dutch Cup winners. Half-time at Ibrox in this Champions League playoff first leg is Rangers 1, PSV Eindhoven 0. Rangers in the Champions League playoff round. Live on Sports Sound from BBC Radio Scotland. There's no substitute. Goals absolutely flying in across Scotland. Across goal, it comes back here. A season of action and reaction. We'll be joined by fans of various clubs. No doubt, plenty of talking points. If they win football games, no one will care, right? A season of banter and laughs. So the finish for Theo Bear, I thought, hmm, tidy. Can he meet Van Veen's target? Who? <laughs> <laughs> and it all lives here. The pundits all gave us their predictions. I think Willie came out and talked. I don't believe it. <laughs> Catch the action this weekend. A huge moment in this game every kick of the ball across the season Scottish football lives here BBC Radio Scotland and this evening we are live from Ibrox incredibly Rangers lead PSV Eindhoven by one goal to nil in their Champions League playoff Abdallah Sima with an absolute screamer on the 45th minute that after fairly constant pressure from their wayside they look very very tidy so many good players so good in the ball fantastic movement Rangers were struggling to get up the field and have any impact on this game but that goal from Simo hadn't been having a good first half you'd have to say his touch wasn't great his confidence looked to be going the fans were on his back but right in the stroke of half time he made himself a hero here Tom English this has been an incredible first half it, that's surreal you know I mean I think everyone obviously in the stadium was, was overjoyed but I think utterly shocked as well yeah. I mean the quality of the finish as the lads were saying was just unbelievable unbelievable um, the quality of everything that went before belonged to PSV they look so slick without, without creating uh, uh, cutting chances they, they, the quality of what they were doing was class one touch two touch slick uh, quick it looked like Rangers were just hanging on. They were doing well to crowd them out at the back. They were defending, defending well, denying PSV chances, but not denying the possession and territory and all the rest. And then this goal just, just literally drops out of the Glasgow sky. I mean, it's, it's, I'm genuinely shocked. But what a finish. We, we all are. What incredible scenes when that goal hit the back of the net, Stephen Thompson. I think shock, bewilderment, but real quality from Sima, as I was saying, that he hadn't been having a great game. 
No, he hadn't. I think he struggled down this left-hand side. I think you're right to point out he looked low in confidence a couple of occasions where we, were, we wanted him to go and run and commit a defender. He was kind of turning back. He hadn't really been involved. But then you only need one moment in a match and the goal kind of came out of nothing, really. But PSV trying to overplay. They've been caught do, doing that probably on about two or three occasions. It's what they do. It's what you see the top teams doing. But if you get your press right, and Rangers did have good pressure on at the time, um, you can break that and when the ball rolls back to him what is he like 19 yards out on a pretty tough angle we are standing right we're sitting right behind it and he just curls it expertly right into the top corner I did not as I said in commentary see a Rangers goal coming because after the decent start that they've had to the match they have been camped pretty much in their own half and it's been wave of wave after wave of PSV attack and PSV possession and Rangers have had to try and absorb that I thought if they get in at half time at 0-0 then you know try and rearrange a few things and you'd be reasonably pleased with that however to go in at 1-0 up now it gives them something massive to try and hold on to get a clean sheet in this next 45 minutes and then you've got that advantage to take over to uh, the Netherlands next week I, I give the Rangers fans uh, a lot of credit half an assist for that goal because just a minute before they were on Dessers' case he wasn't allowed yeah. to the cross looked flat footed looked a little bit a little bit lazy for their liking well, when, it, when the came, moment came, he didn't. He, he, he was very much alive to it. Hustles, I think it was Sangari out of it. Yeah. And lays it off, and lo and behold, the ball is in the back of the net. And so, yeah, well done, the Rangers. Fans. His layoff, <laughs> his layoff actually takes a wee deflection. What is it? Does it, it, it takes it into the path of Seema, um, which was the fortuitous bit. But actually, you've got to go and press, and you've got to go and make your own luck. And they did that, and you're right to point out because there was once when Seema didn't do it, and Dessels mm. didn't do it, and here, believe you me. If you're not chasing lost causes and you're not looking like you're absolutely busting a gut and busting a gut, then this support will not accept it. And these are two new players. They will learn that very quickly because nobody wants to be getting pelters off the fans. <laughs> but you're right to point out on that occasion they did and they got the result from it. Neil, I love when you guys talk tactics. We'll, we'll do that in just a minute. But we must show appreciation for this PSV side at yeah. times they're an absolute joy to watch well you can see why Bosch before the game was, was pretty bullish in terms of what his side are about good in the ball good football inside confident company Ibrox they did dominate possession just looking at the stats almost three times the uh, amount of passes they played 362 passes 328 of those have made their mark so they're a good side um, I think the freedom of movement they've got with Noah Lang comes in so Barry uh, he sits in the 10 and when he vacates that it allows Noah Lang to roll into that 10 position it frees up uh, Dest out in the left back position and it was it was a main source of threat for PSV but it got to about 25 minutes half an hour and what was happening Kenny was that Raskin was then starting to jump because Sangari was starting to control a little bit of the, the, the central midfield area and Wheaton he was bouncing it was it Taze was, was getting on the overlap and it was giving Barisic a problem because he's getting sucked in the back of Yarrow so there's so many moving parts of this PS, PSV uh, team that are giving Rangers sorry if I just uh, said the wrong name there sorry I'm away in a wee flow of tactics leave me alone Tomo <laughs> I, keep going, uh, I love the tactics so, so, so the point I'm making is uh, if you're playing if you're playing with a, a central striker of, of Dessers and Cantwell sort of playing to the right and, and Seema to the left it's really there to guard against uh, the fullbacks getting on easy possession but they're playing slightly in narrow so the fullbacks are almost in particular they standing out on the, the left wing area so if that's not going to work you have to combat the midfield area because what they're doing is Jack's sitting central Raskin and Sepuentes are then being asked to bounce to the fullbacks and it's too much for them because when they go the wide players are coming inside and they're getting so much of an overload Kenny and it's hard to paint a picture when you're just talking quickly but I'm seeing things and yeah. it's giving them real trouble although Rangers are in it they're 1-0 up here they can't they can't just expect that this PSV team will continue to play like they did in the first half and not test Butland more they will 
Mike, the quality has, Mike, has to come through. Has Michael Beal changed anything throughout that first half? Did I, he do anything to counter it? I haven't seen it just now, but the good thing is he's sitting in there one nil up. Yeah. And he can look at that. Uh, he did it last last week. Um, he was able to change the tactics because the same thing was happening if you remember the fullbacks particularly right side were bombing forward and he adapted it by uh, by getting Cantwell on the 10 and then that that allowed the two wider midfielders of the three to bounce because when the wider midfield Sifuentes and Raskin bounced to the wide area Cantwell dropped into a central position so they weren't getting outmanned in the middle of the park so it worked really really effectively and he's, he's already proved Michael Bailey is an astute coach the beauty is here that they're 1-0 up they might have surrendered possession they might have surrendered to maybe a, a better sexier footballing side on the night but they're 1-0 up that's a really good position to be in Talk to us about Dessers, Tomo. What, what do you see in him as a striker? Where, where are the problems like? Is it confidence for you right now? I just think he's been starved of service for a start and you know I've played that role a number of times as a lone striker when you're playing against a better team that have got tons of possession and you're feeding off scraps but you've just got to do that and you've got to show the right application when the ball does come to you chase lost causes try and get your team up the pitch when you can he is you know a bigger player than Danilo that's for sure but um, I'm not entirely convinced he's a target man type player there was the one occasion when the ball got flashed across the box by Cantwell I felt as though he could have burst himself to get in there and the crowd kind of maybe felt that as well it's a difficult game to judge him in because when you're ha- having so few touches of the ball, it's difficult to to make an impact in the game. He had an impact in, in the goal. It was actually Raskin who went right in on Singari, chased him a good 15 yards, anticipated and put the pressure on him. The ball then broke to Dessers, his cutback takes a nick and then Seema puts it in the top corner. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't expect Rangers to play further up the, the pitch in this second half, so I, I, I really do feel he'll still be starved of the ball I wonder whether Rangers will say right we've got this 1-0 lead can we actually sit on it we've managed 45 minutes there without conceding alright we've not had a lot of the ball we've not but really you've had the long shot um, from Bakayoko or his Bakayaro as Neil likes to call him that's his middle name <laughs> and, um, unforgiving Neil isn't it I'll this tell you what, it's a long night though Kenny <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you what, when I'm doing sports scene this Saturday night, I'll be just waiting. You I watch. can't wait. I'll have a call from that. Hey, it's, it's just good to get my own back because I make mistakes all the time. And you're sitting there with your wee smirky face on when I do them. And that's on telly. So anyway, right. But yeah, I mean, I think it's it's, it's, it's hard to be too critical of Dessers yeah. right now because he's been starved of service. Talk to us, Neil, about John Suter at the back. He's been an edge tonight, hasn't he? He's been really, really good. I, I think both centre-backs at times have covered each other really well. There was an occasion where it came out to Taze on the right side here. Um, I think it was Taze, and, and, and as the ball get flashed across, John Suter as a centre-back has to be across the first post. It's really important then that you're tagged in with your other centre-back. There's a relationship to make sure that he's immediately behind you for the striker coming into that area. Goldson did that. The same on the other side. When uh, Goldson went short, got dragged out of position, there was John Suter covering. But he's, he's, he's good on the ball. We spoke about stepping in. It'll be important. Listen, they're going to come under some heavy pressure in the second half, I feel. Uh, Bosch looks like the type of manager. It, it doesn't it doesn't settle for uh, mediocrity. Um, I think they're playing at a good tempo, PSV. But I really do believe that they'll, they'll take more risk. I think they'll, they'll ask more demands uh, of the front players in particular. Uh, I don't think there's any necessity for uh, Vermin and Singari both to sit, so he'll ask one of them to get in touch. That'll place more demand on the central midfielders. But I think John Suter, after a really difficult start in a Rangers jersey, yeah. you know, coming, picking up a lot of injuries, I think is looking really, really good. And I'm so pleased for the boy because he's been through so much trouble, but he's looking like a good partner there for Conor Goldson. Yeah, the pressure in this second half is going to be incredible, Tom, isn't it? The quality that PSV have got, you just know they're going to carve out probably four or five really good chances. Well, you'd have said that, given the amount of possession they had, the amount of passes they had, the amount of class they showed, that that, that would automatically uh, kind of uh, transfer into, into really good chances, but it hasn't really. I mean, Rangers have defended very well. They've crowded them out, they've the kind of scrambling, scramble defence has been very, very good. Block shots from distance. PSV, for all their class, haven't had too many clear-cut openings, if any, actually. So, will they come in the second half? Possibly. They're good enough to do it. Absolutely good enough to do it. Rangers' concentration levels, I think, at the back have been very, very high. 
discipline has been has been good apart from the early Tavernier yellow card. You began to fear for him at that mm. at that point with Lang bombing down that left hand side. But the discipline and concentration has been have been excellent and then the goal arrives and I think we're all a little bit still a little bit in shock about that. Yeah, no doubt about that, Neil. And we experienced Rangers in the Champions League last season, you know, they were outclassed and you can see the step up here tonight, can't you, from even against Servette. This is a real high quality team. This is gonna take an exceptional performance in the second half. Yeah, absolutely. Huh? Yeah, I think the fans will, will play their part. I mean, it's a very special ground, Kenny, and it can have it can have serious effects on opposition players. Yeah. I've no doubt, uh, as, as, as Tom said there, I, I'm pretty sure that the fans played their part in that goal. The good thing when Raskin jumps, he's jumping in a good area onto Singari. It, it, as, I, as I try to point out, sometimes he's jumping in a central area and opening up the wide position. But it's, it's so important that the distances of this Rangers side in this second half are, are closed. They don't try and... Um, they're not, they're not encouraged to, to, to go and, like Dessers or, or Seema, go and press on his own and leave spaces in between because this is where this outfit are really, really dangerous. I, I think you'll see that the, the compactness of the side will be good. I think Michael Beale will encourage them to stay connected. And if they can do that, and try and hit in the break. Yeah, this is where you might see little Danilo coming on. Yeah. His pace and his sharpness. Maybe for Seema, we said that he didn't have a great a great first half until he comes up with that absolutely world-class goal. Um, that might energise him. But the but the ability to, to hit in the counter-attack might suit Rangers in the second half. You know, you know, a lot of these Rangers players wouldn't have played, played in Europe, or some of them wouldn't have played in Europe for Rangers if they didn't understand the power of this crowd when things are going your way they understood it when the ball hit the back of the net because the roar for that goal was something else the Rangers team are now out here for a minute or so an incredible atmosphere here at Ibrox this evening Liam gave you an update earlier on from League One Polk at three Sterling Albion Nell Spencer Morrison and McIver with the goals there uh, for John McGlynn side but our main focus of course tonight is in this Champions League playoff somehow Rangers have their noses in front thanks to a wonderful goal from Abdallah Sima. Can they hang on? Can they take an advantage to the Netherlands next week? We shall find out in the company of Neil McCann, Stephen Thompson and Liam McLeod. Rangers continuing this fantastic goal-scoring record they have in home European matches. They've only failed to score in three out of the last 31 European home games now. Slavia, Prague, Lyon and Napoli all emerged with clean sheets, but they've scored at least once in the other 27, including this one this evening. 28 as it is now as PSV prepare to get the second half underway, no changes for either team French referee just having one last look at his watch, gets it started blows the whistle and PSV in the white coloured cream tops with the grey shorts, go right to left shooting towards the broom loan and Rangers in the blue shirts white socks, or shorts black socks with the red tops, moving towards the Copeland Road end in the second half as they tend to do the ball slipped through towards the final third. Jack Butlin reads it, comes out to the edge of his own box and clears. Asima, the hero for the Ranger supporters, driving down that left-hand side. He'll be absolutely buzzing really now. Shows too much of it to Ramalo, but he's put it out for a throw into Rangers up the pitch over on that far side. But it's what he didn't do in the first half, and you can see how energised yeah. he's been from that goal. It's the first time he's opened up his legs and took his full back on down the line. Throwing was taken, Cantwell helps to the right-hand side of the box for Tavernier, Sequentes back to Tavernier, goalkeeper makes the save, Rangers were almost in for a quick fire second there, as it's booted to safety by Sangari into the centre circle, what a start to the second half that would have been when you consider how they finished the first, 3 kick PSV inside the centre circle, meantime as Saibari has his legs taken from him. Yeah, and a wonderful little one-two there. I just wonder whether there was a little tug in the jersey on the arm, the left arm, maybe. What a On James Tavenier from, from Dest, is it? But I tell you, it's a really good save. I wonder, Tomo, I think you would have stuck the big head in that, would you not? Yeah, probably would have gone on my head. I was thinking yeah. that at the time. But actually, when you watch that replay back, he gets a good connection on it, this Tavenier. The ball's kind of sitting about waist height. The goalkeeper's only a foot away from it. He manages to, incredible reactions, flick his arm out and clear the danger. 
Long ball for PSV towards De Jong, one in the air by Goldson, flicked away by Jack into the centre circle, but it's met by Singari. He heads it to his left for Fearman. Pascali manages to work it to Singari as it's played to the right-hand side for Taze down the line. And there's an opportunity for Bakayoko, who goes down. He's going to win the free kick as well. Yeah, well so over on that way. far side, touch line a bit level with the edge of the D of the Rangers box. And the yellow card is out for Borna Barisic as well. Yeah, that's both fullbacks now on a yellow card. Cynical. Bakayoko is just too quick. Takes a nice touch with his right foot and just shifts it with the left. Chance this for PSV. They've loaded the box. Brought Pascali and Romalo up for this one as well, the two centre-backs. Rangers with Butlin in goal, Tavernier, Goldston, Suter and Barisic, Sequentes, Jack, Raskan, Cantwell, Dessers and Sima. That is how they start the game, that's how they start the second half. It's a PSV free kick over on that far side. The feet from the touchline, Veerman, Romalo attacks it! And he kind of flicks it back out to this left-hand side of the box. He stayed down inside the six-yard area. Dest keeps it alive, crosses in, Butlin commits himself and clutches on with both gloves and it stays 1-0 to Rangers on 48. He just seemed to lose his balance in there, did Romalo, he makes a good run into the box, just gets caught under it and when he lands, that's the problem, that's why he stayed down. His jokes is going. That's a good chance, he's just... He, just, he missed he times to jump a wee bit. Yeah, he just doesn't hang long enough, but he got a, a, a run inside. Dessers there, Rangers going zonal marking from a wide free kick like most teams do now, but with that zonal marks it's really, it's really important that you, you cover the space between and in front Bakayoko attacking the box right hand side of it rolls it back to Saibari he shoots blocked by Suter he'll break to Noah Lang here for PSV left hand side of the Rangers box now level with the six down towards the byline dancing into the box winning the corner of Tavernier good positive play by Noah Lang for the one time European Cup winners PSV Eindhoven under the legendary coach Gusidink when they did so in the late 80s. Also, UEFA Cup winners in 78 as well, PSV as the corner comes in, but it's way too close to Butlin, who holds on to it again with both hands, and Rangers maintaining their 1-0 advantage in this Champions League playoff. Commanding on cross balls, isn't he? He don't want to tempt fate, but he's really good for a centre-back. It's just brilliant. Your eyes light up when you see the keeper coming. Yeah. And his decision making is good. Pascali down this near side. Cantwell goes down as if he's been caught. As Lang plays it back away to Serginio Dest. And the uh, play is going to stop to allow attention to Todd Cantwell here. Seemed fairly innocuous. Cantwell wasn't the man in possession as he was caught. The guy's getting a chance to see a replay. It's just, I think he's been caught in the follow-through from Boscali's clearance. Yeah, if anything, Cantwell was kind of filled in, but he's come in kind of a, a fraction late, just as the defender was clearing the ball. Maybe just get caught with the follow-through. Have he stood on the ankle? Should be OK. This is the fifth time these two have been drawn together in UEFA competition. The eight previous meetings, Rangers have won four, PSV won, the other ones were drawn. 3-2 Rangers last year in aggregate, of course. Cholak scoring in both legs. Tom Lawrence, you, if you remember him, he's uh, not stripped tonight. He was on the bench in the League Cup tie against Morton at the weekend. And after a timid first-half performance, Rangers lost the previous meeting to that 1-0 at Ibrox after a goalless first leg in Eindhoven back in uh, 8 09 and uh, the tie before that was much more memorable as they swept them aside in the Champions League groups. I've got the name McCann written in bold black letters in front of me. Scored the third in the home game against PSV. Well, I don't know what to say again, Liam. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Game's back underway here, meantime. Cantwell's back in his feet, seems to be moving around OK. It's collected by... Romalo out to the right hand side for Taze, just toes it away from Raskan. But Jack gets onto the loose ball for Rangers, but he gives it away as well. A little bit sloppy from both teams. Bakayoko collecting out wide on that right hand side against Raskan, who does well to win it back. Terrier like from Nicholas Raskan. Here's Dessers driving forward into his stride, runs into Romalo. Bobbling ball, breaks Joey Fearman's way. 
He plays it to Taze, who sweeps it back to the edge of the D of his own box for Pascale, who turns it to this near side for Test. No ball in field for Pascale, switching it to the right for Taze again. Back to Romalo. The walking pace for PSV. Rangers now have something to cling on to. A 1-0 lead given to them by Abdallah Sima just before the break. But here come PSV. Down the left, Dest has found Lang. Loads of space. Been closed down by Goldson. He does really well. Blocks the cross at source and puts it out for a throw into PSV Eindhoven on this near side. That's, Read that superbly well. Yeah, it did. But Tavenier get dragged right in with Dest there. And, and if that's going to happen, then Sefuentes must go with the runner on the outside. Otherwise, if Tavernier just stays there and lets the ball go away, just, just don't, don't encourage big spaces in behind you. Down the right with Bakayoko of the Rangers box, taking on Barisic. Cross comes in, Barisic with a challenge, ball kick given. Can back off the PSV player last. The young Belgian over on the right-hand side. For the visitors, Peter Bosch down there, their coach, arms folded, steely-faced. He's been here and won twice before as a manager, but he... It looks a little bit perplexed down there. Perhaps wondering how on earth his team is behind in this game. Yeah, but for all the all their dominance on the ball, Liam, creating chances have been at a premium for them. Really, they've not really managed to force Rangers too much into working Jack Butland. Yeah, Barisic having to do some defending down by the byline, though, as he knocks it out for a throw in the PSV on the far side. They were 1-0 down to Vitesse Arnhem at the weekend at half-time. Eventually turned it round and won 3-1. They'd equalised by this point, though. They were level within three minutes of the restart. And as uh, the goalkeeper Benitez fires it out to this near side for Dest, under pressure from Zifuentes. The Rangers fans liking the press from their players. They're not giving PSV an inch. And that's gone out off Cantwell for a throw in. Again, Cantwell waving his arms around, trying to get the crowd involved. Yeah, he likes a wee bit of that, doesn't he? I tell you, though, I have to, I have to compliment him because the press is ignited by him. His decision-making on, on, on when to commit and when not uh, is the reason why Rangers got into a very, very good position. Good play by Jack. Finds Fuentes. Back to Jack on this near side. Over by the... Touchline to Tavernier and now Cifuentes, right hand side of the box is cross though. Takes a touch off the defender and the goalkeeper holds on in the six yard line. And on 54 and a half it remains Rangers 1 PSV 0. Really good play from Ryan Jack. It looked like he was going nowhere there, but manages to pop away. Near Saibari up the other end though. Bakayoko charging on the right, lays it back to Saibari, time to pick his spot and he shoots over the crossbar. What a chance it was! Just inside the penalty area. He looked up but he leaned back and it goes over the bar and it's He's one nothing Rangers. Yeah, Ryan Amazing. Jack does unbelievably well to get back, to get back from where in. He was, you know, he'd just been up the other end of the pitch. It was a lightning quick counter attack from PSV, and the man putting uh, uh, Savari under pressure was Ryan Jack, who I was just seeing down in this right hand side. Looked like he'd gone nowhere, he'd no avenue to get out, but managed to pull off a one two, work it into the box. Unlucky of Cifentes when he tried to smash it across the face, and it just deflected into the goalkeeper Benitez's arms. Well, sometimes, or most of the time, I think, the teams like to have the deciding leg, the decisive leg at home. The Rangers have come through four of the last five ties that they've seen them play at home first against Red Star and Braga in 2020. PSV last year, as we were discussing earlier, and Servette in the last round. The only reverse was against Bayer Leverkusen, who were managed by the current PSV boss at the time as... Pascali loses out, the referee sees that as a free kick on him in the centre circle. Looked relatively soft. This is one of, not just UEFA, but FIFA's top referees who's here tonight, Clement Turpin. Yeah, I can't say I saw too much in it. A foul on Veerman. Rangers win it back, Lascan got in the road of his countryman Bakayoko. Here's Jack, out wide left for Raskan again. Passes it back to Barisic, who in turn goes back to his goalkeeper. Short ball, Butland to Suter, sweeps it up high into the Glasgow sky, drops down onto Cantwell, but he can't control. Veerman picks yeah, it up. From Tavernier. Yep, try to thread it through to Lang. Tavernier gets in the way. Given away by Cifuentes, who I think has been on the periphery of this tonight. He's not really got involved. Agreed. Here's Lang, infield to Singare, loses it. Cantwell collects. 
and then he gives it away. Here's Saibari, and then Canvel of a yellow card because he's just had a cynical trip out than Saibari. And that will be the third Rangers player into the book, and Cantwell just letting his frustration boil over there, having given the ball away really cheaply. He is the third Rangers player in the book, and he joins Tavernier and Barisic in the, the yellow card stakes here. And PSV have a free kick around about, what, 20, between 25 and 30 yards from goal. It's pretty central, and it's in an attacking position, Neil McCann. Yeah, it is. Um, as you touch on there with Cantwell, he's, he's, he's got caught in possession of the football, he needs to release it. So Fuentes, you're absolutely spot on. I think he, I think he has been on the edges of the game. I think Rangers have been guilty of trying to bounce it quick the first time, rather than just taking control of the football. I think that's why PSV get themselves in so many good positions, because when the ball goes into tens or, uh, or midfield areas, they're confident enough to take control of the ball. But this is an opportunity for PSV. I mean, I know it's, I know it's quite a distance out. We shall see. Joey Veerman's lining it up, right-footed. He's gone for goal. Butland pats it away behind to the corner. Diving to his left. PSV corner. Butland tested. Perhaps uh, if that goes in, he's disappointed. So he's got yeah. to make the save, but it was there to be made. Yeah, it was a fairly standard save for him in the end. I mean, Veerman gets the accuracy right, but there wasn't enough pace in the ball to really test Jack Butland. He made no mistake with his clearance. Out swinging corner for PSV Eindhoven. It's been taken low to Taze, first time volley for Romalo, Goldson's strong against him, sliced clearance by Cantwell, it's still in his area Goldson nods it away but he's been pushed at the same time and that's going to be a Rangers free kick just to the edge of their own box which they're trying to take quickly but <laughs> it was taken from nowhere near no, the scene no. of the crime. 20, 25 yards further up the pitch from the, the foul Tell you what a big header from Connor Goldson there PSV took the corner shot. It wasn't a brilliant ball into the box, but it could have been one of those ones that just get helped on at the, at the near post and flicked towards the back. But Connor Goldson met it well. What a week of European action it is. Tomorrow, Hibernian against Aston Villa. Live here on Sports and on BBC Radio Scotland and on Sports Scene on the BBC Scotland television channel. Then on Thursday, that of course in Conference League qualifying, Hearts take on Pauk, but in the Europa League, it's Haken Aberdeen. Six for the Dons game, 7.45 at Tynecastle. Again, coverage, BBC Radio Scotland and the Hearts match live on the television as I'm, well. Uh, sorry, William, I'm not so sure there. Well, I mean, the, the striker coming up centre-back, there's a bit of... Uh, maybe, ah, uh, yeah, you can just see there, it's, uh, it's a left arm across the throat. Dessers on Biscali as the long ball was played up to him. Yes, yes, it was. And I wasn't sure if it was just six or one, half a dozen or the other, but you can see the left hand come up again from Dessers. He likes that one. He has a little look at Biscago and then just uh, catches it, catches him on the throat. Well, he knows the Dutch league well, Cyril Dessers. He was joint top scorer in the season that was ended because of the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, the called the season without awarding the title that term but he was at the time of the football being stopped joint top scorer in Holland Romalo picks up in the centre circle side football to the left across the halfway line goes Boscali out to Noah Lang on this near side midway inside the Rangers half down the left hand touchline Boscali whips a wonderful ball in no takers it's picked up by Bakayoko though and it's going to break to Sangari who level this match smashed home by Sangari who got PSV's first goal at Ibrox last year it's a brilliant ball in from the left there were no takers that time but when it was worked back to just inside the area there was absolutely no mistake from the Ivorian Ibrahim Sangari who squares this Champions League playoff Rangers won PSV Eindhoven won oh, what a ball in from the left but unbelievable vision from Sabai What's the parry when it comes into the box? The ball's been shoved in the line by, by Noah Lang. And this is a wicked cross into the box. And when it goes right through to the other side, it's rolled back in. A little step over from Sanbari. Sanbari is absolutely beautiful. There's clearly information given by Singari. And it's just dispatched with power, accuracy. It's a quite wonderful I hadn't wonderful actually given goal. him the credit for that when it happened live in front of us. I hadn't spotted that he'd done the over. It is That's you're not get that in the bag, Tom. I'm not getting that vision, <laughs> no. But uh, it's a phenomenal wee over for him. And when it comes out to Sangare, I mean, he's only, what, seven yards out. He's just got to guide it past the goalkeeper into the back of the net. How do Rangers respond to that? Well, PSV will feel 
Uh, that is well deserved. We've bossed big spells of this game. And now they're back on level terms. Barisic got almost caught out. Suter reads the danger and slides in. And then Raskan helps it on its way. We'll need a positive reaction to that, that's for sure. Real class from PS behind Oven, though. Dummy from Saibari made all the difference. Here comes Sima at the other end, though. Dessers wants it in the middle. Sima across, looking for Dessers. It's half away. Raskan putting the pressure on, but PSV had enough numbers in the box to be able to deal with it. It's 1-1 on 62. Again, more positive from Sima. Down that left-hand side. This, again, like he did at the start of the half, driving, opening up his legs. He does have pace once he gets going. He's got a long range of stride. Puts the ball into the box. I thought for a second it was going to fall to Raskin, who'd made a late run into the box, but PSV cleared. Here come PSV again down the right-hand side with Luke de Jong, looking up at the penalty area where he'd love to be right now. The right-hand side of it, he knocks it back to Taze. Cantwell wins it back for Rangers. Good battling by Todd Cantwell over there. He turns and hooks it up the line for Seema in field for Raskin. Raskan though, caught by Fearman, and now it's lying at the edge of the box, he's popping it through to the right-hand side for Saibari, pulling it back, looking to try and find Fearman, I think, eventually Rangers with Barisic, but he loses out to Lang, look, he had the situation under control, Lang reversing it, back down that right-hand side touchline for Bakayoko, back it comes to Lang at the right angle of the area, up against Barisic, low ball, looking for De Jong, sliding in Suter to put it out for a throw in over on the far side or might even have gone behind for the corner in fact throw it swung, out. looked like it might have swung behind the corner flag but it's going to be a PSV ball either way over there on the PSV right as they attack the goal to the left it will be a throw in only for Bakayoko oh no he's given him no, a he corner he has given the corner yeah there did you. not look like it went out at the corner looked like a throw to me Bakayoko will take as we approach 64 in swinging corner from Bakayoko into the area, it's headed away by Sima. He picked up on this near side from for PSV with Sardinio Des taking on Cifuentes, driving down the left, strong against Cifuentes, who battles with him. It's Des who comes out on top though, rolls it back to Saibari. As this game's gone on, has become more and more of an important figure. As Cantwell comes in, makes the challenge, and out it goes for a PSV throw-in down on this near side. Cantwell's done awfully well in terms of not on the ball tonight as much, but off the ball, he's won a lot of balls back for Rangers, or at least put PSV under severe pressure. He's working hard to close them down. There's back a Yoko down the right, taking on Barisic again, gets the early ball in, sliding in Suter to block. It goes behind for a PSV corner again, right in front of that vibrant bunch of PSV fans over on that far side. All the players went over there to celebrate with the goal scorer Sangari it looks as though John Lundstrom's going to be on shortly for Rangers well, this match sitting at one apiece remains 3-0 Falkirk in League 1 going into the final 7 or 8 minutes they are 3-0 against Sterling Albion in League 1 1-1 one, one here at Ibrox, corner for PSV, right-footed, outswinger towards the penalty spot, Romalo wins the header, and it comes down into the six-yard area and wide, with Pascale looking to get something on it, he's always shaking his head, he's not happy, feels he should have done a bit better there, yeah. anyway, it stays Rangers 1, PSV 1. I would agree with him, Barisic just got caught on his heels and it get flicked on with Romalo. Pascali was there, he just missed it with the left boot. We've already seen it, he's, he's, he's got decent control in that left boot as well. He probably should score. Tavernier finds Cantwell, heavy touch though, allows the challenge from Beerman. Break back to Goldson, swings the ball forward. Cifuentes with the control as well, couldn't find Sima though. Cut out by Taze, long ball forward, De Jong is there, but so too is Goldson. He heads it back to his goalkeeper. Here goes Suter, striding forward, rolling it to the left along the deck to Barisic. Looks up, looking to get Seaman behind again. Can he keep it in play? No, it's gone out, swung over the line. That's going to be a throw-in to PSV, and it's going to be a double change for Rangers. Ravi Matondo and John Lundstrom are going to come on for the hosts, Neil McCann. Yeah, I've seen my coming off, but he might not be too happy, but he's had a couple of runs, positive runs in the second half. Um, and outside his goal, I mean, a quite brilliant goal. He's, he's kind of struggled in the match, so Matondo coming on will, will give a different threat, probably down this right side. 
Um, maybe Cantley will play off the left now, I'd imagine. Ryan Jack coming off, he's gone quiet. I know he worked back ever so well about 15 minutes ago to stop what looked like a certain goal for PSV and Lundstrom just to give a little bit of extra solidity and, and Lundstrom can also drop into the, the centre-back line in between the two in the, between Suter and Goldson as well should he need to and comes Lundstrom who has had a couple of special European moments in Rangers colours most notably that Europa League semi-final late winner against RB Leipzig as PSV prepared to make a change and bring Goose Teal on in just a moment. Next stop, which in play. PSV have it, played from one side of their box to the other, and then Des loses out to Cifuentes, who finds Lundstrom, where Des looks to try and flick it into the box, but it's cut out and it's cleared. Cifuentes again on this near side, looks up, right foot cross comes in, it's cleared by PSV once again, this time through Pascali. Back towards the edge of the box for Rangers. Dessers wins it. Now Tavernier. Now Raskan loses out as he tried to knock it forward into the box. It was cut out by Taze. But here come Rangers again with Matondo. Gets the pick of the ball. Not once, not twice, but three times. He drove towards the six-yard area. Eventually his luck runs out. And PSV get it out. Oh, oh, no, he's gone. It's crazy. Cantwell's already on a yellow card as well. I tell you what, he's got out of jail here, I think. you know. Is the ref not going for it? He's already he's on a yellow, Todd Cantwell, as PSV make the change. I tell you, his heart must be beating. I know he slides in there. It's, it's a yellow card leg. all day long, isn't it? Yeah, the trailing left leg. Just cut, I mean, the warned, referee. He's been warned by the referee. Yeah, he's done him a real favour. That is a rush of, rush of blood to the head from Cantwell. Well, I mean, he has been rushing about and pressing ever so well tonight and putting the PSV players under pressure, but he's got to realise that he's on a yellow card now. That was a crazy, crazy challenge to make. Goose Teal comes on, another Dutch international, five caps, one goal. Scored against Turkey in the most recent World Cup qualifiers. And he is on. Actually scored a hat-trick on his debut for PSV in the Super Cup win over Ajax last season. As he replaces the Moroccan Saibari. Game on again. Rangers, incredibly, still with their full complement. I mean, that just looked like a standard yellow card for Todd Cantwell. He's already on one. Because the VAR cannot be used for second yellows. Lundstrom loses out the edge of the box. Here's De Jong, his PSV attack. Chance here for Lang, out wide left for Dest. Short ball to Lang, who's eyeing up the byline here. Up against Tavernier, gets him to the byline and it... He runs out of pitch in the end and it goes behind for the goal kick to Rangers and it will stay 1-1 in the 70th minute of this Champions League playoff first leg. As much as Lang's looked really dangerous tonight on the ball and his movement, you can see how sharp he is. I'm looking at end product and I've not see it, seen that much from him. You can tell he's a very talented player, clearly. But, you know, sometimes... Sorry. It's yeah, from right. John Suter. Yeah flip forward towards Matondo attacking the PSV box and he wins the corner off Andrew Romalo really good positive play by the Welshman Matondo yeah good from him but superb from Suter spoke about him in the first half stepping in and an exquisite little ball over the outside his right boot to release Rabi Matondo who's found himself in at the Champions League squad ahead of Yanis Hadji Michael Beale has been saying about he's looking quite direct he's looking a real threat and you can see there he's certainly got the tools he just hasn't shown them at Rangers yet maybe this is his big breakthrough came on against Livingston in the league game recently and made a big difference PSV have had eight corners this is just Rangers second as Tavernier digs it out headed away by Romalo who gave it away in the first place as Cantwell throws it back into his own half for Raskan he goes back to Butland, takes a touch and takes it outside his box. Looks up with a long right foot raking ball forward towards Dessers. Dessers does win the header against Romalo, but only for Tays to clear down that right-hand side. Suter will pick it up and mop it up and put it back to his goalkeeper. And it is Butland with the right foot, clipping it out to this near side. Cifuentes with the header in field, away by Buscali. Down the line goes Lang. Goldson read it. And Goldson well, I think Goldson made a bad one here. Connor Goldson, who for most of his Rangers career has been injury free, but he's had injuries over the last year or two to deal with, and the two of them came together. They're a clash of ankles as uh, Lang chased the bouncing ball. Goldson came across and 
Two of them have ended up hurting each other. It's a clash of shins. Oh, I'll tell you what. I think Gosling just there. gets to the ball fractionally before Lang and absolutely crunches his own shin and knee onto Lang's very, and it was too. Very committed players I don't, I don't see, I don't full have, speed. Yeah, I don't have a problem with either. No, Steven. I don't actually. No, I don't think there was any malice in there. They were both just going for it. But the actual connection, when they collided, they were going at such a pace. I was worried for Connor Goldson's knee. I'm pleased because sometimes when you go in like that, you open the inside of the knee up. Uh, he's holding his shin. Yeah, there, looks, I think. right above the ankle. He catches Noah Lang in the side of the knee. Lang's back up. He seems as though he's going to be okay. Referee just having a word with James Tavernier, the Rangers captain. Goldson being told to get off the pitch before he can come back on, as is the rule. A ten apiece, more lines off the pitch as well, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, he's coming back on, but they're both back on now. Picked up by Taze over on that far side. Leads in the other Champions League playoff first legs tonight for Copenhagen against Rakov of Poland and Roy Antwerp 1 0 up on AEK Athens in Belgium as PSV come forward. Slip to the left hand side for Lang. <laughs> Yeah, a slip there as Goldson tried to make the challenge I think the ball he didn't even make yeah. to have the, to make the tackle and the ball touches I'm sure it touches his right foot as he goes to hit it with his left it does we've all done it and then you just kick fresh air the fact that you're laughing at him as well I thought was poor no I've done that Feel professional. tell me you've done that I've done that <laughs> I've watched you do it I've watched you do it Oh, no, but he, he, he called it spot on. It just catches his standing leg. He's, I tell you, he's just about to whip it across to De Jong in the middle of the box as well. It's 1 1 here at Ibrox. 73 and a half on the clock. Long ball towards Cyril Dessers, who tries to flick on when it comes right through to the keeper. He's getting an awful hard time. Dessers. Yeah, yeah I mean, so early in his Rangers career. He didn't do too much wrong there. I mean, he was just going up for a header, didn't get any direction on it, and it goes through to the goalkeeper but yeah I mean they're on his case that's for sure remember the, the man he, who he's taken the number nine shirt from Antonio Cholak started his Rangers career brilliantly scored of course the, in both legs of this one including the decisive goal in the tie in Eindhoven in the second leg he started really well and I suppose if you're coming to a big club then you have to start well Dessers he's managed a couple of goals though in the early part of his Rangers career as uh, I think the foul throw is going to be given against oh, he's going to give him a second Bakayoko. chance he's, well, I think Bakayoko's point is that it slipped out of his hands rather than it was an attempt to take the throw in he's perhaps fortunate to get a second chance at that leaves it for Taze this time and Pascali moves it out to Serginho Dest on this left hand side for PSV across the halfway he goes Infield to Lang, back to Dest, back to Lang, inside his own half, is to go though. Rangers looking pretty solid, even though they've conceded in the second half. I would say over the course of the match, they've kept PSV at arm's length a lot of the time, and we need to do that for the remainder of this one, and obviously next week in the Netherlands too, as uh, Bakayoko works it back the way, Sangari gives it away, and now Raskan jinking between he and Beerman. Raskan, well read by Pascali, comes to meet him to Matondo on the far side down goes Pascale and he gets the free kick out of the referee over on that far side of it level with the edge of the centre circle with the score line at one apiece it's an interesting point in the tie actually when you think about it looking at the second leg next week clearly but these last 15 minutes could potentially hold the key to the Champions League groups it's an important time as Veerman comes forward he's found Dest inside the area disguises the ball and then the tap by Teal is cut out by Goldson and Sifuentes finds Cantwell, gets it over the head of Pascali, driving forward, rolling it to the right for Dessers, he's onside. It's an early ball by Dessers, chance for Matondo! Goal for Matondo! Goal for Rangers! And this place catches fire again! Robbie Matondo has waited over a year for this moment! He has restored the Rangers' lead against the Dutch Cup winner! Rangers 2 PSV Eindhoven 1 and Rabi Matondo has finally 
it just offside from Dessers? I think it is. But Canwell picks him out. But what a ball from Dessers. And a beautiful little finish from Ravi Matondo. Whether this will be allowed to stand, I'm not, I'm not sure. My initial uh, reaction, you watching it, it live, and it wasn't foul in front of us, was that it was offside. Yeah, but what a finish it is. Oh, it's brilliant. I mean, the whole, the whole play is good. Initially from Cantwell, nicking it over the defender's head. Plays it out to Dessers. The first time pass across the face. Matondo with a lovely side footy finish. But... Yeah, I, having said all of that offside, yeah. I do think that he's off oh it's so, so tight, close isn't it it is so close I felt that Dessers just went early he's, he's given it, it. he's, he's given, given it, it all the goal stands and Rabi Matondo he's had such a difficult time trying to make an impression here has scored his first Rangers goal what an one of the biggest goal. goals that he'll ever score comes in this Champions League playoff in one of the biggest goals potentially of Rangers season already they lead PSV 2-1 well Liam we spoke about it at half time about being able to hit the counter attack you need speed to hit the counter attack and Ravi Matondo another really big decision from Michael Beale to leave something on the ability to hadge out the team and our, our squad in favour of Ravi Matondo well, there's the rewards. Well, um, first first thing that springs to mind is Dessers' involvement in that goal. He's come in for some criticism, but what a way to pass it was. As Lang was up the other end, he shoots, blocked by Goldson, and behind for the corner. Double change for both teams in a moment. PSV behind again, 12 to play of the first leg. If Rangers can hang out these next 12, 15 minutes, it's absolutely huge for them to take this lead over to what's going to be a very difficult tie next week uh, in the Netherlands it's just such a big goal here comes the corner for PSV headed away by Lundstrom will be it he's headed it behind for another corner on the reverse side of the goal as the corner came from the left Rangers are going to bring Danilo and Dabal on in just a moment and it's going to be a corner for Bakayoko to take in front of the PSV supporters over on that far side Inspringer with the left foot coming up here the Rangers have their lead back after Sima and Singare had traded goals. Matondo restores the advantage. He'd survive the tight offside VAR check. Here comes back a Yoko. The referee's not happy with something in the box, though. He's just telling a couple of the players in the goal line to behave themselves. It's Pascali and Barisic. Here comes the corner for PSV. Bent into the area. De Jong's header! Goal! 2-2! Luke De Jong, arms outstretched, celebrates in front of the PSV supporters. Rangers were 2-1 up for just a couple of minutes from the set play. Bakayoko onto the head of De Jong, who bullets it past Butland. And it's Rangers 2, PSV 2, as we approach the final 10. Well, if there's one man you don't want to leave slightly unmarked in the box, it's Luke de Jong. There was so much jostling going on in the middle of the, the box, on about a penalty spot. De Jong just... John Suter just gets slightly underneath it. In fact, he gets a nick, which takes it on to, I think, De Jong's head and puts it into the far corner. The thing is, he's, he's in a wrestling match and he's just making him... him it's just making himself really big and strong and, and trying so hard to stop De Jong getting across in front of him and actually in doing so catches himself under the ball Stevie Slightly, right with, yeah, yeah. And, and that allows De Jong just to get his head on it I mean that's a hammer blow I've not enjoyed uh, the lead enough to take the sting out of the PSV side but it just shows you I mean De Jong is such a threat in the box it's a wicked corner as well I have to say yeah, the delivery and swinger good. left footed really dangerous Dest and Lang have come off to be replaced by young Dutchman Shirandi Sambo and Jorg Vertesen, a Belgian, Belgian under-21 international who can play right across the front. He's come on for Lang on the left-hand side. Fearman will take a throw in here. So nine minutes left of this first leg. Throw-in's taken into the box for De Jong. Comes back to Vertesen. It's good play and then a chance here for Bakayoko to have a swing at it, but it's blocked. Still an opportunity here for PSV. Vertesen after it. Rangers clear. And we're back to where we were at the end of the first leg last year. Two apiece it was in Glasgow. PSV. 
100% record so far this season. Looking to preserve that. Muscali shifts it to the right of the centre circle. It wasn't long before the Matondo goal when I said the last 15 minutes you're looking at could potentially hold the key to this tie. Well, there's been two goals since then. We're back to where we're... The scoreline is different, but we're back to the situation where it's all square. And as Briscali picks up on this near side and turns it back to Ramalo, he'll go back to his goalkeeper. Rangers' lead lasted just shy of four minutes, the second lead. Header won by Suter in the centre circle, but the referee didn't like his challenge on Luke de Jong, whose goal has hauled PSV back in terms for a second time, and John Suter's been yellow carded as well. And he is the fourth Ranger to go into the book tonight. Yeah, there's nothing in that for me. Eyes on the ball, there's isn't he? Nothing in that. John Suter goes up and wins the ball cleanly. You're not telling me it's the first time De Jong's been caught once or twice by a centre half. He's such I mean, a good really, striker, though, isn't he? De Jong? Yeah, I mean, he, really he is. is. He is. I mean, he's, he's for somebody his size, his link-up playing, his intelligence, and his kind of quickness of mind round about the box are excellent. Of course, he's a good goal scorer as well. But was, for me, there's nothing in that. He was, Absolutely not. He was involved in 28 goals last season. Luke De Jong. He scored 18 of them himself. Set up the other 10, and that's him now having scored that one onto five for the season as the long ball comes forward but as they evade the two PSV players who were going after it they're Teal and De Jong and it's right through with Jack Butland seven minutes of the 90 left two apiece Lundstrom to Tavernier up the line to Dowell first time to Lundstrom does well into Cantwell can he slip it through to Danilo not quite back from Romalo to his goalkeeper Danilo who replaced Dessers Dowell came on as well to replace Sifuentes Thierman the edge of the centre circle rolls it to the right for Taze down that right hand side for Bakayoko Teal at close quarters turns back facing his own goal and passes it back to Taze and field to Sangare now with Gush Teal and then Sangare to Thierman and then to Ramalo in the centre circle for Boscali out to this near side for Sambo he's going to get it back here from Vertes and Sambo into the box rolls it across chance for Bakayoko rolls it back to Sangare just outside the area to the right hand side Teal smashing it across blocked by Barisic picked up by Danilo runs into Ramalo though PSV have it back on 84 here's Sangare down the right hand side up against Raskan he's got the cross in headed away by Suter Rangers are going to bring Sam Lammers on in a moment as they try and dig this out but PSV come again, Ramalo short ball to Bakayoko now it's Veerman rolls it to the right hand side for Teal to the overlap and the cross comes in, headed away by Suter good play again by PSV Eindhoven this is some proper pressure they're putting on Rangers here Cantwell goes down, Danilo turns and finds Lundstrom back towards his own box. Clipped out to the left for Matondo, but it was into touch for a throw-in to PSV. And Sam Lammers is going to come on here for Rangers. And Cantwell will come off. Yeah, it's probably the right decision, knowing that Cantwell's on that booking. They can't afford to have him missing. He's been allowed probably one, definitely if not two close decisions by the referee he's put an absolute power of work in tonight as Todd Cantwell really has maybe not been as effective on the ball tonight although he was heavily involved in that second goal but he really has worked his socks off How are you reading these last five minutes plus stoppages Neil? Um, I think Rangers are going to have to weather the storm PSV have got, they've made their own substitutions they're slick they're moving it around do they settle for a 2-2 now then? No, uh, the Rangers, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think a 2-2 wouldn't be a bad result, you know, um, to take over to Eindhoven. I think this PSV team will go for it. I think they'll try and take a lead back to the Netherlands. But I, 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 was, I was sort of looking at myself there and, and thinking, Danilo's got some of the, the treatment that Dessers has got. Yeah. Two, two have bounced off him and he looks a little bit shy all of a sudden. They need him, they need him big because he's the spearhead so far. If the ball comes up to him, the little man needs to secure it and start eating the ground up to get Rangers out they don't want to be camped for the final five minutes here is John Lundstrom 
for Rangers. Back to Suter. He was caught there, surely. Yeah, for Tyson. And the foul. That's a free kick to Rangers. And it's the first yellow card for a PSV player. And it is Jorbe Vertesen who is booked with a scoreline at two apiece. Finally poised, as it was 12 months ago. Rangers went out to Eindhoven and won 1-0 to end a 12-year-long wait for Champions League group stage football. Can they repeat the trick this time around? It is... Rangers clearing through Connor Goldson. Look to that left, Matondo giving chase. Looking for space. Winning the throw in. That's gone out of play on the far side for PSV. And it's going to be Taze to take. Incidentally, finish Falkirk 3, Sterling Albion 0 in League 1 tonight. Rearranged because the Beanos were up against Aberdeen in the League Cup last Friday. 87 and a half on the clock here in the Champions League playoff. Rangers 2, PSV 2. Tavernier comes forward. Clip ball, looking for Lammers. Lovely spin and turn. Shoots, block. Danilo on the follow-up, but it's gone wide with the deflection. What a chance for Danilo, who missed that incredible opportunity in Geneva last week. And that is a huge chance. Michael Beal down there. The look of frustration on his face is there for all to see. Just put it high. Just put it high. Even if the defender doesn't block it, oh, the goalkeeper's yeah. saving it. You're right, you've got to get your foot through that and lift it. Just smash it into the roof. 100%. Yeah, I'm just, thinking, just smash that high because they're on the deck. Well, Lammers hits the shot. The goalkeeper makes a right mess of the save. It was an easy save to make. He kind of pads it out right at, to the feet of Danilo, who takes a good first touch. At that point, he's got two and a half yards out, three yards out, swivel and hit that high at, into the roof of the net. And Rangers probably go on to win the game. Massive chance. Ramallo is down with cramp inside his own box here as Rangers prepare to take their third corner of the evening as we approach the 90th minute. There's a really good spot from James Tavenier, takes a good touch, uh, sees a vision of, of, uh, or gets vision of, of Lammers just going into the box and the big fella took a nice one, didn't he? And then it was, as you said, Tom, it wasn't a brilliant shot across uh. Benitez, but Danilo could have made himself a massive hero there. We're going to bring on PSV, we're going to bring on Yerdi Shouten, defensive midfield player, who was uh, in the same midfield as Lewis Ferguson at Bologna last term. One of the new summer signings they've spent big money on. And he's going to come on now by the looks of things. He's going to replace Pascali. And uh, double change, in fact, for PSV. They bring on Isaac Babadi, Dutch under 18 international. He's a PSV Academy graduate. With his debut actually in their Super Cup win over Feyenoord at the start of the season. But, uh, they are going to come on now. Sometimes you wait, and, you know, a defensive team will wait until the set play has been taken. But yeah, and you're bringing off a six foot plus player for Babadi, who's about five foot, so it could affect things. A little bit taller than five foot. Did you check that height on Wikipedia, <laughs> Tomo, before you said that? <laughs> Six minutes of stoppage time have been added. Two apiece. Have you got his height there, no? Rangers corner, Tavernier sweeps it in, Goldson attacking it, it's away. By Shouten, who's just on. Now PSV look to hit in the counter, Vertesen gives chase. Raskan's there, and he boots it out into touch on this near side, and it stays Rangers 2, PSV Eindhoven 2. Just about all Raskan could do there. He was under pressure. Just clear your lines. Throwing to be taken on this near side. Bold forward by Sambo. Looking for Vertes and Suter gets in the way. The way it goes for Rangers into the PSV half. Danilo beaten to it by Sangari. Here's Lammers on this near side. Up in the air, spending a lot of time in the sky at the moment. Drops down to Raskan. Beats it forward to Lundstrom. Was he caught? Referee tells Lundstrom to get back to his feet. Tavernier playing it forward for Dowell. Dowell's not going to get there. Sambo gets there first and clears with a the left peg. 
Lundstrom's underneath it for the header. We played one of the six minutes of stoppage time at the end of the first leg here. Two apiece, as it was at full time after the first leg at Ibrox a year ago. It's been a topsy-turvy game. Twice Rangers have led. Twice they've been pegged back. Lammers for Rangers. Powell, though. Free kick PSV. Midway inside their own half. And Lammers almost getting involved there with the man who he was embroiled with their vehement. The free kick has been given. And it's a PSV ball. Just got a wee bit scrappy in the last five or so minutes. A couple of suits Rangers, really, because PSV were knocking it about. Perhaps the changes haven't helped their rhythm. Lammers picks up and rolls it out to the left for Barisic. Down the left-hand side for Matondo. Matondo testing the pace of the defender. Right-hand side of the box is brilliant from Matondo. His efforts blocked it. Almost came back to Lundstrom. He's going to slide in to try and win it back for Rangers. He's done well. Teal was after it. Goldson's header. Finds Raskan. Out wide left, Barisic. Raskan continues his run. Out it goes for another Rangers throw. Taken quickly. Rangers smell blood here. Matondo with the up and under into the box. Headed behind for the corner. Is there a winner in it for Rangers here? There's been an element of uh, tempo raised by Rangers in the last couple of minutes. Matondo done really well on that left side. Just cutting inside the box. He's definitely added something, he Matondo. Has. I mean, obviously he's scored a goal, but I think just in terms of his pace frightens defenders and he's very, very direct when he runs at them. Sometimes he, he gets his head down and gets lost a wee bit, but, he, yeah, but he's, he's putting panic into the defenders. Foot, Took his goal really well. A great ball to him by Serial Dessers as well. The weight of pass was perfect. Now then, three out of the six of stoppage time have been played. Barisic with the corner into the back post. Headed towards his own goal there by yeah, Singari, I think yeah. it was. Suter's claiming he was barged to the deck there inside the six-yard box. Yeah, did he get a barge in the back here by De Jong? Watch here, the hands across him. Nah. Nothing in it for me, no. Not enough. No. He's made the most of it. He's still appealing to Clement Tarpan, the referee. And he's already been booked, so he probably wants to just be a little bit canny there. In comes the corner from Barisic, headed away by Singari. Matondo. Oh, oh, oh. So close from Rabi Matondo, who caught it flush on the volley at the edge of the D. And that's just gone over the crossbar. Oof. What an effort it was. But it's just gone slightly wide as well. But it stays Rangers 2, PSV 2, four minutes into stoppage time. Six were added. He's flushed that. He's absolutely... I got a bit excited. He's absolutely flushed that as a foot wide of the post. The trajectory, perfect. That was right in the postage stamp there. Header forward, Danilo putting the pressure on. Sangare gets there first though and clears with the right foot. Rangers who are finishing the game strongest here. Coming close a couple of times, Danilo and then Matondo there. As they try and take a lead to the Netherlands next week. It's the first time in the game that you felt that PSV look a wee bit uncomfortable or yeah. really uncomfortable. This last five minutes have been brilliant from Rangers. Yeah, I think really, you're, you're, you're absolutely on the money. They've made changes and I don't think it's helped them. It's knocked the rhythm out of their game. Here's Lundstrom for Rangers out to this near side. Low ball Tavernier, his cross cut out by Vertessen. Throw in Rangers, level with the PSV 18 yard line. We're into the final minute of stoppage time. 2 2. Tavernier takes the throw in. Dowell hits it, but it's poor and he slices it badly wide. And it will be Rangers 2, PSV 2, and not much more time of the minutes that were added on by the French referee are left there might be a little bit more on top because the subs made just the start of the stoppages but it's looking very like deja vu here guys it certainly is Liam yeah and on the face of it I think Rangers have finished a stronger team but taking a two each uh, draw over there if they can replicate these last 10 minutes over in uh, Eindhoven, then not over yet. A chance. Yeah, not over yet. Here's Babadi. He's not long on. Attacking on that right-hand side, squeezing it into Veerman. Now back Yoko leaves it for Babadi. He's trying to get back onto it, but the French referee has seen enough. There's Michael Beale and Peter Bosch exchange handshakes down below us. The two managers. 
thrilling night here at Ibrox. New managers, but the same scoreline between the same clubs as the playoff meeting last season. And a real thriller, PSV dominating for big spells in the game, particularly in that first half. Rangers couldn't really get going, but they led at the break. Abdallah Sima with an outstanding goal just before the break, final minute of the opening 45. He sent a rocket into the top right corner. It's a fabulous goal. Both Rangers' goals were of the highest quality tonight. And that one from Sima gave Rangers the boost they needed at the interval after PSV, albeit they had lots of the ball, lots of corners. Only threatened Jack Butlin's goal a couple of times. Then into the second half, things really kicked off. The equaliser coming for PSV Eindhoven as Rangers were looking for another one. The equaliser from Sangari, who got the first for them here in the first leg last year. Just beyond the hour mark as he smashed home after a good work down the right-hand side. The dummy from Saibari, Sangari latched onto it and hammered it home to make it one apiece before Rabi Matondo's first Rangers goal came in a Champions League playoff here at a jam-packed Ibrox. There were 14 minutes left. Cyril Dessers rolled it through to him, right-hand side to the left for Matondo. And he calmly hit it into the bottom right corner. It was another brilliant goal. And Mabi Matondo's first real moment, real proper moment, in a Rangers shirt arrived at that point. But the second lead lasted less than the first. Just four minutes later, Luke de Jong, the big number nine, the PSV skipper, heading home from the corner to bring the Dutch Cup winners level for a second time on the night with the uh, Rangers going close a couple of times late on through Danilo and Matondo again so he hit a screamer from the edge of the box high and wide it wasn't too far away and it would have been quite the finale had that one been on point so it was 2-2 at Ibrox after the first leg last year it's 2-2 after the first leg this year. This Champions League playoff tie is on a knife edge yet again. It finished here with a return a week tomorrow in the Netherlands. Rangers 2, PSV Eindhoven 2. Rangers in the Champions League playoff round. Live on Sports Sound from BBC Radio Scotland. There's no substitute. It's a big week of European football right here on BBC Radio Scotland and what a match to kick us off here at Ibrox this evening. Rangers 2, PSV Eindhoven 2. It was end-to-end -end in the second half. Some great chances. We thought Matondo just nicked it for Rangers at the end there after he scored a quite terrific goal, but it wasn't to be. The ball flashed just past the post, about a foot wide of the post. A lot of the Rangers fans are staying in here to salute and clap off their players after a tremendous performance you'd have to say against a very very good PSV Eindhoven side a real challenge for Michael Beale's team in the Netherlands next week full coverage of that one right here on Sports and Neil McCann I think the first thing to say is what a terrific game it really was I and I, and I think a lot of Rangers fans um, other people outside the the game maybe looking at this fixture and uh, the form that PSV were in looking at how they've been playing scoring goals might have thought that Rangers um, would have got rolled over tonight and I think they've, they've really equipped themselves well um, at times defended superbly I think John Suter and, and Goldson were, were excellent tonight John Suter one mistake but this is the level you're playing at Kenny you get one mistake at this level with someone like De Jong a class operator and you get punished and the, and the ties then uh, back in the balance again but on the whole I think it's a it's a good result to take over to Eindhoven they'll be encouraged to come and really really attack we've spoken about their attacking threat all night tonight but Rangers will be able to go and try and play on that counter attack where they scored that I mean an exquisite goal I said the quality of that goal there's so many good elements yeah. in that second goal there's a uh, Cantwell's technique bravery uh, decision making to find Dessers his first time pass the weight of the pass the vision to see it and the first time finish from Rabi Matondo was beautiful but on the whole um, yeah a really really good game of football tonight some really technical players on show and the endeavour from both sides I have to say was superb yeah I was trying to think of examples there Tom or during the game of, of, of players 
that have just had that turnaround like Matondo had. I think maybe of Ginelli at a time early last season at Hearts, but looked at his way out, didn't have a future, and then.